start. Okay, episode 1, Demon Slayer. And this is the most hyped and very popular anime right now. And I wonder if it's about the story, the characters, or the animation. That the art style is really unique. And this seems like 3D. Oh, this the the soundtrack is really it's it's, it's somewhat emotional and creepy at the same. <laughs> I don't know, but the art style is definitely unique. I've never seen an anime that has this kind of um art style. It seems like an old kind of art style I'm really liking the soundtrack in this anime oh this is a lot Tanjiro Especially the eyes. I've never seen an anime with this kind of eyes before. I think that's the most highlight highlighted feature of their characters. I thought the scar on his left um, forehead was... So I guess it was maybe a birthmark or something. I think I've seen one of his brother, yeah, that looks like him. So he has a lot of siblings. Where's the girl that she was carrying? Because this girl is different from that one. His voice sounds like Meliodas from... Or maybe it's different. From seven deadly scenes. And this is, I think, what? I'm assuming. Oh, that's. <laughs> that's a lot of <laughs> siblings. This is rarely. This rarely happens in anime that the main character has a lot of. Siblings. I'm assuming a demon. I guess it's different from Meliod's voice. I feel like I've heard this voice before. Is it the same with um, Izuku? But there are electrical lines. I thought this is like old old times, but maybe this is around eighteen hundreds or nineteen hundreds that time period. <laughs> so he has a strong sense of smell.
by judging by the name of the title of this anime eventually he will have to encounter a demon I guess the only unique kind of art style is with the characters but with the background somewhat similar to modern anime but there are times that they from the beginning they showed the somewhat a 3d feel yeah with that kind of shot it's somewhat different Oh, the sound. Oh. That's where the demon slayers come. I wonder how many the demons are this time period. I guess it's based on what the old man saying is saying is that maybe it's they're active around night time. There's always smell of blood. Oh, where's his family attacked by demons? But why doesn't Doi know about that all this time? Especially that they're living in the woods. And why is it during only this time that they've been attacked by demons? Oh! Whoa, that's dark! Yeah, and how come it only happened up till now and they don't know, they don't have any idea that, because I think if they did, they wouldn't stay in that place, or at least they would have some kind of protection or something, but I guess where their situation is being poor, maybe, I guess they, they have no choice, but they've been able to with her siblings with his siblings they've been able to live for a long time whoa oh is she also a demon now I think he I think
think he eventually has to kill her. Oh. So it can transfer to... Oh. There's one more. Inside of her? Oh, she's growing. I think he has to kill her. Oh, is it that old man? <laughs> Maybe she was born with it? Wow. Those eyes, <laughs> it's so cold. So, so it's it wasn't her. Oh, maybe she was infected. Oh, so yeah, it's a, something like a vampire a zombie. I don't think he'll listen to him.
but it's affecting him. I thought he was just a cold blooded demon slayer that he'll kill her without batting an eye. But he's struggling. Oh, maybe that happened to him before. And he's struggling because maybe he. Maybe he did the opposite and he. He killed his family or something. I guess he's somewhat feeling responsible of what happened. Because if there are demons roaming around, I think de they should need demon slayers protecting each area, especially with places that has a lot of population. Oh! Oh, is he forcing him to? Oh, he's somewhat training him. Oh. She doesn't, she won't. Oh, <laughs> wow. And yet she's not, she's protecting his brother, her brother. sunlight
I really like the traditional Japanese music at the background. She's like <laughs> she's like a vampire, or I guess a zombie that she needs some kind of muffler for. Her. But she still has those claws, so. But I guess it it that's not the point, cause even with that, if she really wants to kill Tanjiro, she could. But she's different. What a sad beginning for Tanjiro. Cruelty. Okay, so that's the end of episode one. And I think, and I guess uh, one of the f things that I really um, made me uh, notice about it, this anime is uh, w one is the the arts, the arts, the art style of the characters are really unique. I've never seen this kind of uh, um, character design, especially with the eyes, before and. But the background somewhat um is similar and also with the uh with the siblings with the, I've never seen and I've never watched an anime before where the main character has uh, tons of siblings and yeah um also with the the time period it's um maybe around eighteen hundreds but maybe nineteen hundreds so I'm. I guess this is somewhat feels like um post. Around World War Two. And. Yeah, and uh, the scenery, is like um. Um, old Japan. Yeah, with the World War Two, and also with the. Um, the Demon Slayer. I guess with the demons, we've never really seen a uh, full, a real, a realized demon. I, I'm assuming um, Nezuko is just like a, what would a human that has been infected by a demon li look like? Looks like, but I, I'm not sure yet. We 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 still haven't seen um, the demon that attacked um, Tanjiro's family. And also with regards to the pacing of this show, it really was uh, really fast that um, they went through the the struggle that the main character has to encounter, and yeah, and the with the demon slayers. So yeah, what else? Um, the music. I think that one of the best things. I really love in this first episode is the soundtrack is with the traditional kind of um, uh, music with traditional Japanese m music it gives the 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 um, the story and the the scenery much more somewhat scary and beautiful at the same time and yeah it feels like um, uh, what do you call what? What? How do you explain this? Um, this samurai time of period of um Japan, and now I guess with this um series is more about the demons in the Demon Slayer, and also seeing the what was the name of the Demon Slayer who came to help him. Uh, I never expected him to be, to have that kind of um, sympathy or kind of caring for him. Because I thought that he will just right away kill her, her sister, his sister, and that will somewhat awaken his anger or rage towards him. And maybe that's how his potential will show. But 
yeah um so i was surprised that he he showed care for him and somewhat showed him what he should be doing and yeah and awaken his potential at the same time and yeah in his belief and his he had faith i guess he had somewhat seen a hope for for these two siblings something that um he never expected to happen something that i'm assuming definitely happened to him before when he was a kid and and uh maybe the same situation where it's either you kill your sibling or your pa parents to survive or they kill you but but with this situation so the the best thing happened for tanjiro and instead uh her his sister protected her and i think that changed um what was the name of demon slayer um giyu 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 tomioka so yeah i i, I was i wasn't i think i was most surprised by him uh, more than the main character and because uh yeah he he somewhat um because he could have just killed her and deal with with uh, tanjiro easily but instead he he somewhat uh, strengthened his resolve and if you that he said that if you really wanted to protect your sisters your family you should uh you shouldn't be because yeah one of the things that i guess tanjiro um showed is his uh his humility that he bowed down he 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 begged because he i guess he he knew how strong this guy is and j yeah with his approach of um i guess he's somewhat um uh intelligent approach on on trying to uh take his sister so but at the same time i think what really moved um the demon slayer giyu is when he bowed down so he ne i guess he never expected that um for tanjiro to i guess at the same time maybe it's somewhat pissed him off because yeah because <laughs> that's really risky if um in that situation because either um his sister attack him might attack him or Ta uh, Giyu will just slice him down instead but yeah so also with the thing with where um nezuko growed and so i guess that's one of the traits of a demon that they become big and very powerful but i'm curious to to know more about the demon slayers how come he's very skilled and very powerful it's not like it's not human like with his actions so i'm, I'm wondering if they have some kind of imbued of magic or maybe a yeah something like that or is it just purely skills and training and uh yeah good survival instincts thing, things like that and uh based on what where this anime is about demon slayer i'm assuming eventually he i guess one of his um one of the problems he will have to encounter is is meeting another demon slayer that is much more um cold-blooded and much more unsympathetic compared to Giyu once um they've seen her his sister because uh yeah i guess that's one of his main motivation right now is how he will have to protect his sister his sister at the same time protect himself from the demon demons and i guess it also will eventually makes his motivation on protecting other people from demons and i wonder how what is the ratio of demons compared to humans in this world but based on what um they we with it, with this first episode i'm assuming there's only a few because they have 
their their only way of reproducing is i guess somewhat like a vampire that they have to uh, infect a human with their blood but that's only assuming that they're sur the human survive um after being attacked by a demon because uh, i guess yeah otherwise they will have the demons will have to feed themselves with killing humans instead of reproducing maybe maybe based on what happened with the family so the so he had four siblings who was killed and his mother and nezuko so i'm assuming one is to five kind of ratio so maybe around 20 percent but see that's a lot if that's the case and um, i wonder how many demon slayers they have and what and i think what what the, they could also do is at least assign demon slayers on each city or each village each town to protect that a uh, certain village from demons because um yeah otherwise they will just be killed i guess we, we still i guess i'm sh also i'm showing that there's definitely definitely there's um soldiers or police officers during this period and maybe they're different from the demon slayers and maybe they're also maybe there's guns during this time already and yeah and also i guess maybe there's um maybe demons demons has some kind of weakness or they only they they are immune to guns or things like that so yeah i'm really interested to s in learning more about this world and at the same time um how will tanjiro grow as a character and um him protecting his sister because i really thought that they were going to <laughs> um kill off the sister and this is will be about uh, tanjiro um um becoming much more stronger by being I guess his path toward I guess somewhat like Eren with his um his desire or his motivation of having vengeance towards the demons and but with this it's somewhat conflicting cuz his sister is demons is a demon now so I guess that's the only motivation he has right now is he doesn't he's not really harboring any uh, resentment or anger towards the demons I can yeah I guess that's the difference with him and Eren and I guess he's only his prior priority right now is protecting um, his sister's little sister and I guess at the same time finding a way to cure her so yeah I think that will be uh, what he the main goal of this story of his story and yeah i'm, I'm really um, excited to know more about this world and see more about him as a character and he somewhat uh, reminded me of also with midoriya with his uh with his quirkiness and his uh ability and his um skill with regards to fighting and also his sense of smell is definitely very useful if he could um, detect a demon like that so and he's perfect for a demon slayer so yeah definitely i think we will see gyo in um again and uh, i really have and he really has the um rival feel of a character he somewhat reminded me of sasuke today <laughs> but his character is really um different and uh, unexpected it's like he's somewhat also a mentor for uh tanjiro so yeah i'm hoping to see more of uh more of him also um development for how will this uh, combination go i guess it's also somewhat um maybe tanjiro will have to train his sister to be also one of a demon slayer so i guess that's also possible so yeah how about you guys what are your thoughts on this first episode when you watch this anime uh what really um sticked out to you was it the animation the the story the character um the the soundtrack was really i, re I really like the soundtrack and so uh, it's really um it gives you the somewhat creepy beautiful feeling with this anime um yeah so and especially with uh the demons 
and uh, yeah um, so if you'd like to share your thoughts or your uh, feedback and if you think I missed some details um, if you're aware sh share want to share some um, Easter eggs or yeah things like that just uh, just do it uh, please share it in the comments down below I uh, would really appreciate that and also please like this video and subscribe for more updates and I uh, also would like to thank my patrons for supporting me and helping me in continuing this channel if you want to help support my channel and also have an early access of the um, next episodes of my reactions so just go to the link in the description down below for my patreon and it, it would really help support me and this channel a lot so thank you again for watching i hope you enjoyed my reaction to this episode see you in my next video have a great day goodbye <laughs>